welcome back to our channel today we are going to learn something about the softwares used in Honeywell VCS and without further ado let us start uh, so first of all you will have to go to the start and click on all programs and find the Honeywell Xperia and PKS softwares and in those softwares there there will be a lot of other softwares as well but the major one is the configuration studio so let us click on configuration studio and after opening this configuration studio you will have different options like the X experience pks server and sys and system the experience pk server is actually the the uh, the subset of experience pk system the system is a bigger uh, setup and the server is a smaller setup so if you go to this system option you will find all the servers inside inside the system but if you go to a server option uh, you may you may find more servers as, as well in in, in a very um, light ex expanded system but right now we have only one server so i will go with the experience system so i can show you different uh, servers inside it right now there's only one server but you, you can see a glimpse of how it can look like so I will click on Xperion R410 system and I can click on connect or double click and it can go towards uh, this screen in this screen you will find that this this R10 shows of system and uh, under this system there will be different servers as I earlier told you that servers may be like R Xperion R410 and you may have some different names and you may have some different more servers here under this server setup as well then there will be a network setup and in the network setup you will find different computers different workstations and different devices attached here so before going into details of these let, let us go through different sort of softwares which are quite useful um, in inside the Honeywell DCS um, for when, when you 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 start working on this DCS you will always have to work uh, start with the configuration studio so configuration studio is a very uh, cornerstone and a very important software inside Honeywell DCS after configuration studio you will have to do different activities like you will have to uh, write a control strategy uh, number one number two you will have to make HMIs uh, number three you will have to uh, configure SCADA stuff as well third-party PLCs and those sort of things uh, number four you will have to uh, see like uh, operator st stuff uh, operation stuff so there is number four so for all those four areas there there are separate separate softwares there are separate areas you, you will have to access then there is a fifth uh, area that is the asset uh, management or alarm management so for that you will have also have to go to a separate area so we will see all those softwares here one by one and i will give you an overview of those software and then yeah we can discuss those softwares in details in our upcoming videos so let me uh, open the first thing which is for writing a control uh, strategy or writing a logic you can call it so uh, when you click on the server there will be uh, Experian pks uh, server whatever your name is for the your server under that server there will be many options you can see it here there will be source station consoles printers control strategies patches trends displays and whatever like you can see it here but first my my major concern my major uh, target is I want to show you the how you can write your the logic where you can write um, your logic so for writing a logic you will have to click on control strategy when I click on control strategy there is an option for process control strategy and for process control strategy I will have to click on configure process control strategies so when I click on this one it will open as a control builder so control builder is actually uh, the main area where you write your strategies your stuff uh, your uh, every device your every controller is uh, configured in the, in this uh, control builder sometime when you open this control builder it doesn't open up in this you know very straightforward way it goes in the background of your process so you will have to come down and open it from the downside so this is how a control builder looks like uh, it has many uh, areas many explorers uh, in the left side you will find your projects uh, and uh, some are some will be unassigned some will be like managed above it 
then in the downside of this left side area there will be a library you will find a lot of objects here um, when you click on the monitoring option in the in the project assignment so you will see some controllers which are online so you can change, do some configuration of those as well file online then uh, on the right side you will find the same sort of project containment so it gives you an, an overview of your uh, control strategy in, in another aspect in another way and the same is same goes for downside and that shows the monitoring aspect of your project so um, this is this is a an overview of how your control builder uh, looks like and how then uh, let me give you uh, an overview and of how where do you uh, write your SCADA control or where do you make your SCADA um, stuff so this is uh, in, in the same control strategy you will find a SCADA control like you can build a channel build controller and build points so click on any one of those and it will give you an um, it, it will open the, the main software which called a quick builder so it will take a bit of time and it will open the quick builder here in front of you so guys this is this is the main uh, software uh, where you can uh, connect your third party systems your even the Honeywell uh, related systems as well uh, the safety manager stuff and all those things we can connect it here we can configure all those points the channels and everything and then we can download it and then uh, it can be run uh, on our server so here you can find different things like pointer the point you can make the points you can configure the printers the station the server and you can you also have a recycle bin here when you delete something so you can uh, find it here so after this uh, there's another type of software which can be opened from many areas one is from here uh, and that software is for how to make your hmis and for HMI, there is HMI Web Display Builder. Um, you can open it from here, and uh, from clicking on Displays and select, selecting the Create a New Display here, or you can also go to the Start Menu and go to the Honeywell Experian PKs and find a Server option. In Server option, you will find the Honey uh, HMI Display Builder. So click on this one, and it will open the same thing so this is the software tool where uh, we make hmis and we configure um, our all those human interface related stuff and we make a base plate we make our pop-ups we configure each and everything related to our uh, human machine interface uh, so there there are a lot of options to discuss here but i uh, wanted to have a quick view of this uh, hmi web display builder then there is another software which uh, is very useful and that is uh, called station in this Honeywell system and when you go to this one let us search the station go to the server and you will find the station here so it, it is Honeywell uh, uh, HMI web station in this station uh, you will find a lot of things a lot of important stuff are found here but the main thing which we see uh, as an operator or an operation team, you will find all the HMIs shown here. Um, this, this, the, this is mainly for the operators as well. And engineers also do some sort of uh, configuration. Okay, finally, one more tool in that is about uh, asset management system. When I click on the, any system, there, there you will find uh, configured assets for the system on the right side and you will have to click on configure asset for the system. When you click on the system, you will find enterprise model builder and here you can create different assets. You can create new assets, you can export and you can also load the entire model here. So this is actually where you can have a sort of symbolic hierarchy of your complete plant, complete uh, operation area. So you can understand that which thing is installed at which place and which control is written for which area. So that is that uh, this uh, enterprise model builder makes it very easy. Uh, we call it asset management system as well. So you can manage your asset very easily and you can access each and everything uh, quite uh, in, a, in an easy way. So that is that's it from our 
today video uh, in further videos we will discuss different things uh, about these softwares we will go into some details about these softwares so stay tuned subscribe to our channel and uh, if you like this video kindly hit the like button if you have any comment please put your comments in the comment box thanks for watching